Hello everyone. This is a flip through of Cloak and Dagger number one. This is the four issue limited series, volume one. Just a few days ago, I did a video and listed these books in the video. And within about a day of doing that, I was flipping through the TV trying to find something to watch and I came across the Cloak and Dagger show. And I don't know if you believe in kismet, uh, serendipity, happenstance, coincidence. I don't know if you believe in any of that, but I thought it was a hell of a coincidence to myself. So I decided to watch it. Now, I had came across the show when it first came on TV years ago. And I think I watched one episode and I just couldn't get into it. At any rate, since this coincidence occurred the other day, I said, man, okay, I was just looking at their books. Well, not looking at them, but inventorying them or listing them rather. And now I come across the TV show. So I figured, hey, maybe I should just watch it. And you know what, folks? Turns out it's pretty good. The of course they can't do everything on the TV like they do in the comic, but to answer a couple of questions you're probably asking yourself, did they do the daggers? Yes, they did the daggers, and did they do the cloak? Yes, they did the cloak, and of course it's not exactly like the comics again, but they did a decent job on it. So I would say to you. If you are a Cloak and Dagger fan and you haven't watched the TV show, check it out. It's pretty good. I believe there were two seasons. I'm halfway through season two and it's a pretty good show, folks. All right, so let's get to the comic. I'm going to flip through this and of course, I don't have anyone advertising for me. I don't have anyone um, doing any of that stuff. So I have to try to generate some interest in my comic sales my own self and that's what this is about if maybe if someone watches this and they interested enough in the book they will buy my books that's what this is all about all right let's take a look at this i want to try to get closer so you can get a better look at the artwork let me see all right all right i can't do all the fancy camera work so this gonna have to do right here you could always zoom in i guess all right let's see this is my first time doing a flip through with a comic i believe so just work with me here it's gonna be a little clumsy but we'll get through it this is okay bill Mantlo, ed hannigan doing the writing chores i believe rick leonardi if you're not familiar with leonardi i was really into him years ago the guy does some great artwork and terry austin terry austin is one of the best inkers i've ever come across let me see and then the rest of the gang is here i'm not going to talk much or narrate what's going on in the story i'm just going to flip through it let you get a get a good look at the the book and that'll be it And I can see that, to be honest, I can't remember the exact storyline because I haven't read these books in decades. I mean, literally, and I use the word, all right, in the true sense of the meaning, literally. I have not read these books in decades, all right? But I see that they have the characters from the TV show. They have the priest here. They have Cloak and Dagger hanging out in the church. I got so interested in the TV show, I was thinking about coming back and reading the comic. But I haven't gotten to that yet. Still got other things going on. And I guess that's O'Reilly. I see the short hair. And there is a cop in the TV show. A lady cop. Let me see. Let's see if this is O'Reilly.
I'm sure that's her. Let's go back. Yep, that's O'Reilly from the TV show. Hold on, let me check something out. All right, Hope. This chapter is titled Hope. And there's a lot of references to hope and fear in the TV show. I hope you're checking out this artwork. This artwork is great. And I believe Leonardo started out on Spider-Man. He got really popular there. And her daggers look really cool in the TV show. I just wish they had utilized them in a, a better way. But the daggers are in the TV show. Alright folks, and that is it for this flip through of Cloak and Dagger issue one of the four issue limited series. If there's any interest in this book or any other books, please let me know and I will flip through the book for you. Also, if you want to get a good close look at the book to check the overall condition, let me know that also and I will do that. It may take me a, a while to get around to it because I'm trying to do so much stuff, uh, but I will get around to it. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Bye.